Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up the Mac Mail app in Mac OS. Let's go. All right, everyone, before we get started, just a quick, uh, just to, to some quick information about this computer. I am on a late 2013 on High Sierra, so the steps and everything with Apple are usually pretty much the exact same when it comes to the at least the Mac Mail app. So we're going to go ahead and open up Mac Mail app, and we're going to be adding a Gmail account today and on the app here. And notice when you first launch that app, it's going to give you the option to choose a mail uh, account provider. So in this case, we're going to select Google and we are going to click on continue and then it's going to want that information. So I'm going to go ahead and use the throwaway account that we've created for this demonstration. So in this case, so we've got that in there. Once you've got your email in there, click on next and it's going to ask you for your password. Again, you will need to know uh, both of that piece of information. And once you've got in that, you can hit next or enter on the keyboard and that will take you to the next step where it's going to ask you what would you like to sync with this app? You can choose mail, contacts, calendars, or notes. You can see all of that. For this demonstration, we are just gonna stick to mail. So we've got that selected and we're gonna go ahead and click on done. And we're gonna give it a second because it will go through and it's gonna talk to the server and then it's gonna start downloading the actual emails to the program itself. Sometimes when you add an email, things might get a little complicated. It might request some um, extra like information. Just go through, make sure you type all that in there. Usually now with Yahoo or at least Gmail and everything, it's pretty seamless to get that in there. You'll notice now that it's gone through and it's downloaded all of that information or all of the uh, emails that are currently on the server. So we're gonna go through and just to kind of play around with it here. You can hold shift and then select and that will allow you to select them individually and you can hit the trash can up here of course to throw them away. If you of course didn't mean to throw something away, you can go into the trash and you can right click on it and I know there's an option here to move to inbox. And that'll go ahead and put it back in your inbox. So if you go through and you accidentally delete something, you can undelete it. And of course, up here at the top left hand corner with the little envelope right here, it says get new messages from the account. So if like you notice that things haven't synced for a while or you may are waiting for an email to come through, you can click on this and that will force a sync. And then of course, the one to the right of that, this you can go through and then of course you can compose a new message. Your two, you can carbon copy of course. So if you want somebody else to have a copy of this email, you can just put their email address in here. And then subject and the body, just your typical email stuff. And then you got a little paper airplane right here at the top that you can left click on to actually send that email out. So that's just a quick uh, rundown on how to go through and add an email account to the Mac Mail program. If you're looking at how to add a secondary account, just come up to mail and then down here on to add account. And then it's going to bring up the same window as before where you can go through and you can get rid of, or you, sorry, you can select which is the next account that you want to add, continue, and then follow those same steps. So if you want to go through and remove an account from this actual program, what you'll need to do is go into the actual settings or your system preferences come on over to internet accounts and then it's going to list them right here on the left hand side just select the one that you want to remove highlight it and then come on down and click on the minus sign and that will delete the account of course it's going to let you know that you sure you want to delete deleting this account will remove its data from the mail program click ok and close this out and then you'll notice that the inboxes and everything have deleted all of that information or deleted all of the emails out of the program and that account is officially deleted from the Mac Mail program itself. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found it informative, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below, as well as a quick question of the day, what kind of Mac OS or iOS videos would you like to see on this channel? Of course, leave your answer in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.